One of the major issues right now is that data on regenerative materials is incredibly fragmented. It's largely academic, you can find it in hundreds of thousands of scientific papers, and they're all using discipline-specific jargon. Materium's a, a platform in the simplest explanation, um, but we often say that we are, we're sort of not just a tech platform, although we do rely on tech quite a lot. We're more of a, um, a data commons and a community. So we're really, what we're aiming for is to kind of do a transformational shift um, in the way that materials are produced and used. Um, specifically now we're focused on plastics really trying to def transform that economy from a very centralized and linear one that's designed for petrochemical plastics to one that's highly distributed um, and really designed for renewable and abundant uh, sources. We often say that we like to see the future of the plastics industry as similar to renewable energy, where it's based on renewables and it's highly adaptive to place rather than predicated on a kind of centralized global economy. Um, and that's possible. Now we're seeing, you know, success stories of biomaterials and regenerative materials in the hundreds. We'd like to see it in the thousands, um, maybe the tens of thousands, whatever we need to get the job done. Um, and that's where Materium comes in. So we're, we're providing the data commons and the open tools and the community to really support those early stage participants to scale and also to create far more diversity and participation in the regenerative materials economy than what you normally see today. So Liz, I understand what you're saying is that the sort of mission of your organization in some ways is to accelerate the transformation to re renewable materials. Just pretend for a minute that I'm not very smart what exactly, it might not be that hard for you, what exactly do you mean when you say tech? What is your tech doing? Ooh, well, sure, okay. We'll do in this together. We'll go, on a journey. <laughs> we'll go on a journey together. So um, we normally, um, we're really leveraging two types of tech. One, open data, and two, um, artificial intelligence, specifically data mining and active learning. So. Uh, the, one of the major issues right now is that data on regenerative materials is incredibly fragmented. It's largely academic, you can find it in hundreds of thousands of scientific papers, and they're all using discipline-specific jargon. Engineers, material scientists, I'm one of them, so I can say we're sort of the worst in terms of like accessible language. Um, so, one of the things that Materium does is we use data mining to collect the 100 to 500,000 unique material formulations for biomaterials. And we put that into one place, which is a data commons, completely open source and accessible to all, in a really user-friendly way, in a searchable way. So all of a sudden, the world's knowledge of how to create high-performance biomaterials is at your fingertip. We then pair that with an active learning algorithm that can do the hard searching for you. So if you are a biomaterial developer and you're partnering with a consumer brand and you've come together and said, okay, these are our performance goals. It has to have this shore hardness or this um, compressive strength. And also here are our impact goals. It needs to have this amount of CO2 reduction, this type of um, organic content. It's like an Ask Jeeves for it renewable is materials. It's sort of like that. So if you input those performance goals, the active learning engine will actually identify high potential and promising formulations for you, which then as a team, you can go forward to rapidly synthesize, test, and ensure which direction you want to go forward with. So what we're basically trying to do is petrochemicals has about 100 years on us. They've been developing through trial and error and quite a lot of investment over the last 100 years to produce these really seemingly perfect performative materials, we're trying to put that 100 years in about 10 so that the material developers and the brands that we're seeing really trying to commit to more regenerative materials actually have the data, the tools, and the community they need at their fingertips to rapidly get to market much faster.